The state government's under growing pressure to legalise marijuana for medicinal purposes. A new poll shows most Australians back the idea and some families say their children won't survive without it. It's the drug which has saved nine-year-old Tara O'Connell's life. <laughs> Two years ago, she suffered up to 200 seizures a day. Her doctors said she'd die, but when her parents gave her medical cannabis, the seizures stopped. She's doing fantastic. Uh, we're coming up um, in the next week or so to being 16 months seizure free. She's now off all other medications. Her neurologist called it miraculous. We have got it, all the boxes ticked. Um, we've got 40 pages of seizure charts to show um, the before and the after. The medicine doesn't produce a high. Last week, Cassie Batten and Rhett Wallace were arrested. Their alleged crime was giving the same liquid to little Cooper, critically ill but now improving. The Australian Medical Association says doctors are ready to start trialling as soon as they're legally allowed to. We need those clinical trials to establish exactly what conditions, what dosage forms. After spending some time with a cancer patient, Dan Haslam, who uses it to treat nausea, the New South Wales Premier acknowledged he supports legalising its use for medical purposes. A new poll shows two-thirds of Australians agree, only 14% of people against its use for patients in need. The state government has the power to legalise the use of medical marijuana for patients who have a note from their doctor. But in order for that drug to be produced legally and safely, the federal government needs to licence growers and fast-track approval through the Therapeutic Goods Administration. We could do this uh, within months. We could change the law tomorrow and have people being able to access uh, this treatment within months. Christy Cooper, 7 News.